Hi everyone, it's Ileana. I have one more card in my series with tailored expressions. I really like this card because you can just change the sentiment and it could be used for uh, lots of different occasions. I'm going to start by stamping the stems from the Simply Stamped Zinnia stamp set. I'm just going to position it onto my cardstock in the upper corner. And the reason why I'm using the upper corner uh, is to position the um, second layer a little bit easier, so I've just started up there. I like to put my foam um, insert under the lid because then it's easier for me to pick up the lid. So now I'm going to do the next layer. So what I'm doing is I'm putting down my imaging sheet. It's the same imaging sheet that comes in my stamp -a jig uh, I just use it for the Misty now. I've stamped the image onto the imaging sheet and now I'm moving my cardstock under that imaging sheet. I like to be able to stamp in the corner. That way I have a place to grip my cardstock and move it around to line things up. And then I'm just going to use my creative corner to hold it down. You can just use your regular magnet if you want. I just cleaned off the lid of my Misty and so there's uh, so it, the foam insert keeps sticking to the lid every time I open and close it. Now for the flowers, I've already pre-cut my um, flowers and I'm just going to be um, showing you how I stamp on my die cuts. So I've stamped the base of the image in the cupcake color. And now I'm taking the negative image and I'm lining it up around that stamped image on the grid paper. That way I could just drop down my die cut into the center. And once that's stamped, I'm able to just lift it out with just a little piece of washi tape and then I can drop my next one in. I picked the wrong color there so I had to clean it and start over. I'm using cupcake again. I already said that. <laughs> um, but here's the next layer. So for the next layer, I'm just going to clean off my stamp, grab the new one. I'm going to drop my imaging sheet into the upper corner of the Misty and I've put it on the bottom. That way I have a place to move my cardstock underneath. So I've stamped the second layer. Now I'm dropping in my die cut into my negative and that allows me to move everything around. And once it's positioned, I can put a magnet down to hold it in place. And now I can do all my pieces again. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the final layer. The second color that I used was strawberry milkshake and then the third layer I'm going to use lollipop. I'm going to do the same steps and it makes it easy so you can do multiples of these and just have them on hand for future cards. Now for the smaller flower, I do the exact same thing. So I didn't um, leave that in the video because it's the exact same steps. Now that all the stamping is done, uh, except for the sentiment, I'm gonna add my pattern paper. This is from the um, Rainbow Brights pattern paper from Tailored Expressions. And I just picked a pink polka dot that matches the lollipop ink that I used on my card. And the reason why I am adding this is so that I can get my um, placement. That way I know where to add my sentiment in a little bit. So I'm just adding a small piece of black cardstock and it was cut a little bit too short so I go back and just trim that bottom piece um, trying to fix the cardstock because it's crooked and then I start ripping it so then I just do the best that I can without ripping it. 
just going to use my trimmer to trim off that piece at the bottom. And I just have it so that there's a tiny bit of black across um, showing underneath the white cardstock. So I'm figuring out the placement of my flowers. I'm just going to adhere these down with some foam tape. And what I'll do is I'll do the two outer pieces first. I want to make sure that my foam isn't showing. And then what I'll do is I'll just put two pieces of foam onto my card. It'll make it much easier um, for placement. And once that's complete, I'm able to figure out where I want my sentiment a little bit better. So I've just mounted my sentiment onto the lid of my Misty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foam insert underneath so that I can see the lines without my grid mat underneath causing a problem. I'm taking the um, transparency. It's a free download on my website. And I'm using that to line up my stamp. So I've taken the crosshairs that are on the stamp and I've lined them up with the grid lines on the lid. And then that way I can make sure that it's straight and I got it straight the first time. So now I'm going to try to get the sentiment so it's equidistance from the edges. And I've just lined up my cardstock and now I'm just going to stamp the sentiment. I am going to add a little bit of emb clear embossing powder to this and then heat set that with my heat gun. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back and then I'm just going to adhere it onto my card panel, onto my card base. Once that's complete, I'm going to take my shimmer pen. This is the Spectrum Noir shimmer pen. Um, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to color the entire flower. I was going to do some highlights, but then I just decided to do the whole thing. And I'm going to, um, there was a little bit of a smudge when I, I guess I didn't emboss my entire sentiment. And so I smudged it. And so I just took my sand eraser and I just cleaned it up and everything is perfect now. So I, I made sure that I finished heat setting it. Now I'm going to add uh, my, a few sequins. Uh, it takes me a long time to figure out where to put sequence. And so I edited out the 20 minutes that it took me to figure out where to put three sequence. And I'm using my crystal katana um, to just position those with some multi matte medium. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a great day. Bye.